Ladies and gentlemen, you know my first guest tonight is a Washington fixer named Olivia Pope on the hit show Scandal. How was the president? Melly is good. So, Melly is in formation. Happy to let you hold all the cards, wield all the power, happy as your puppet. Melly and I are a team. You don't play team sports, never have. Not well, anyway. Dad, it's my turn. I'm changing the rules. This, what I'm doing, is better. <laughs> you are like looking into the window of my past. You are me. No matter how much I tried, all I could create was me. Please welcome Kerry Washington. <laughs> It is a party. Um, nice to see you again. It's so nice to see you. Thank Welcome you for back having east. Me. Welcome Thank back you. east. Thank you, my hometown. Yeah, uh, uh, hometown like uh, grew up here. Hometown. Yeah, boogie down Bronx. Now, uh, oh, what, huh? when you were uh, when you were a kid, were you one of those kids I see around New York, just kind of like off by themselves, kind of like wandering the city, going to school back and forth by themselves? Because as a parent, I'd be too nervous to let my child do that. I. I grew up at the height of the crack epidemic in New York. Um, and I, at five years old, asked my mother if I could walk to school by myself. And my mother is such an amazing human being that she said yes. At five? But she hid behind cars <laughs> while I was walking to school so that I would think that I could be independent. But she was really like super mom, protecting me behind every corner. Wow. Yeah, isn't that so sweet? Is there any chance she's somewhere in the studio right now? I think she is. <laughs> Make <laughs> sure you're okay. Yeah, she probably that is, is. That is really now. Okay, so I uh, I started off my career in Chicago, which is you know it's a big city and it's yeah. tough enough to like act and like make a living yeah. there. New York must have been so oh, much harder yeah. when you were a young actress. I always want to know like what did you do to get by? Like what were the jobs you were doing? I had a couple gigs. I worked at a restaurant, like most actors. Sure, yeah, that's, and that's I, classic. I taught yoga. That is not as um, classic. And I, I also was a substitute teacher for New York City Public Schools. What? I was. Yeah, was yeah. Give it up for teachers. They are our most important members of society. Is that, was this like, well, like, uh, how much warning do you have? Is it like a fireman where you have it's to... The, it was a perfect job for an actor because you get a call in the morning saying, we need a teacher, and if I had an audition, I wouldn't go, but if I didn't have an audition, which was most days, I would go and work in a school. But I, speaking of Chicago, I got a job in a movie called Save the Last Dance. Sure, of course, And yeah. it was my first big yeah. film, and it did not pay me a lot of money. So after the movie came out, I went back to substitute teaching for a while, and then I had to make a rule that I wouldn't work in high schools. I could do only do elementary schools because kids were cutting class to see Chenille teach French. And so it was bad. I would go into a school, and I would see all these kids outside the window, like, trying to see that girl from Save the Last Dance, and I was like, this is terrible. So... Yeah. Which is which is more cutthroat, um, high school or Hollywood? <laughs> high school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe I'm just not as equipped. High school prepared me for Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, these people. <laughs> Nothing's know, I... as scary as the real world, right now. Oh no! Right now? Yeah. No, it's it's chaos. Have you yeah. heard? <laughs> <laughs> well. Now, so then you go, then you're in college. Okay, so yeah. you're in college. You went to George Washington. I did. Okay, it's a lovely yes. school down in D.C., another yes. city school. Yes. And you studied storytelling? Well, I storied anthropology and dramatic lit. So, yeah, I, I, I studied storytelling in a way. I studied people. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what an actress does, right? Yeah, we play people, so we should study people. Um, but I did all kinds, I mean, I played all kinds of roles when I was there. I, w I didn't always play a person. I did a musical about a frog when I was there. Really? And did you, yeah. what did you play? A frog. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> so you got the lead. I did. I was the last frog in a musical called Croak, The Last Frog. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. And, Big and deal. Really? Big deal. Did you get to use words, or did you just... 
just play variations it was on a musical. Rivet for two hours. No, no, it was a musical. So we we not only talked, we sang. But I, I mean, I, I take what I do very seriously, and even did well, then. I can tell that, um, yeah. And so I, I went to the the Washington, the National Zoo for hours sure. to study frog movement and. I was, they have a frog I, exhibit? In they the, do. I mean, every zoo frogs has frogs. Frogs behind bars? And, okay. <laughs> and so I... Bars. <laughs> well... So, yeah. So, I, I mean, I... I How's your I, frog? You still got a frog? Uh... <laughs> I should have never gone down this road. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, there's... Being a frog is, is really more about body language. <laughs> do you want me to teach you how to be froggish? Yes, I got my own frog. I can do a frog. You well, let me see your frog. I'll do my frog if you do. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. All right. All right. <laughs> so my frog is more about posture, right? You have to turn your feet out. It was more of like this kind of thing. Because like it's that. not in the face, it's in the, and there's a frog that would shake its ankle. You gotta get this. Frog would do this. That's really nice. That's really nice. Tell me you can commit more in pants, I'm guessing. Now, okay, so, okay, uh, storyteller. Yes. Is your, are you the best storyteller in your own family? No. No, that would be my dad. Oh, that's that's great. Yeah, what? he has a really special skill for taking the mundane and exaggerating into a story. So his stories are not necessarily truth, but they're good. They're good. Oh, okay. They're good. Well, do you have like a, a, fa a favorite uh, non-truth um, goodness? Well, here's here's an example. So he's it's not that he's lying. He's not lying. Your dad's not gonna yeah, lie. he's not gonna lie. He's yeah. a good guy. Um, but he, I had pet fish when I was a kid, oh. two catfish, Mr. and Mrs. Cats, <laughs> and um, K-A-T-Z. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and when they got too large for the tank, my yeah. father invented an elaborate ceremony sure. for them to be taken to a lake in New York State sure. and deposited in the lake. But the story he tells about it uh -huh. is like an epic, you know, life-changing rite of passage. That now, did none you, of that happened. Did you it was go like a with bucket him? at the lake. Did you go with him? Did you go with him to the lake to see the fish put into the lake? No. Okay. No. Yeah. No, but the story is great. I have some great. terrible news. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't say that! I'm a father, <laughs> and I'm here to tell you... That my father ate my catfish? Yes. <gasps> yes. Your father... Or maybe you did. Do you remember having fish sticks I'm at allergic time to, to fish. I'm allergic, allergic to, to fish. allergic to fish, then no, your father did not feed them to you. Or he Dad. released them in the Hudson. Or he Dad. released them in the Hudson. I'm sure the fish are fine. See? But really, did you see the bucket? Did you see the whole thing? With the I bucket? did. I you wasn't did. You came there. home from school and they were just they gone. They were gone. You are adorable. <laughs> you are I am, I still a good man. I don't still a good know. Man. That he didn't tell you is I, the best story. Wait. I'm, it's fine. Fish this are fine. Is my whole world is upside down. No, I'm lying now. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't. Wow. I'm sure it didn't happen. It better have been good. What? It better have been good. No, tartar he sauce be fantastic. Cat. Now, <laughs> now I understand you got a. You're pretty excited about this photo. Can you tell me oh, why? Oh. I don't necessarily understand. The beautiful, wonderful Nicole Kidman, wonderful actress, well deserved she is. Emmy. What's the story here? Um, so I am a, I am a creative consultant for Neutrogena. Oh, okay. Um, and I helped design that lip color that she's wearing. I did expanded right there? shades. Yes. What's it and called? And so it's called Velvet Wine. And so Velvet here's the thing. Velvet Wine. I work with them to do all these like bold, bright new colors that are supposed to look good on everybody. And so I designed that color to look good on me. It's actually what I'm wearing now. And it looks so different on her, but it still looks gorgeous. That's the same color? Isn't that crazy? Because wow. she and I are different colors. So sure, it sure. Like yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. It's got a little translucent yeah. suit or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, somebody dropped off, uh, uh, let's chopped off uh, this right here. May I try it? You think it'll look good on you? I don't know. But I wouldn't May I try it? No. <laughs> I want you to be blessed because I'm not sure I can't guarantee the authenticity of this, but I have one. <laughs> It's nice and warm. It's been in my bosom.
Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're so pretty. Scandal's final season starts yes. tomorrow on ABC. Kerry Washington, everybody. We'll be right back. Russell Brand.